Can't stand when I see this. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this was Webflow's pricing. Now, as I've said, I love Webflow with an undying love, but they did this pricing thing which drives me bonkers. You see the pricing, $20 a month, cool. All right, let's check it out, sounds good. Go to purchase, and then it says, oh, by the way, it's billed annually, so $240 a year. And then there's a monthly option, of course, and you click the monthly option, and the monthly option is higher because they want to incentivize you to pay annually. And it's like, dude, don't say $20 a month then if it's not $20 a month. There's no such thing as $20 a month billed annually. That's called $240 a year. You know, imagine if people build lifetimely. We just bill lifetimely. <laughs> so you can pay us, go ahead and pay us a quick $12,000 <laughs> for lifetime access. You know, it's like the same thing as that. It's, it's ridiculous. Bunch of people, uh, this got a lot more traction than usual. So this is resonating with the people. And by the way, I understand why they're doing it. I would bet money that it drives revenue. I guess in a technical sense, it's maybe possibly true that if you pay 240 a year, you're paying $20 a month on average, but you're not. Cause like on my books, I paid $240 in October. Well, I didn't cause I obviously went for the monthly option and overpaid. And by the way, Webflow's pricing, I think was like 16 a month annually and 20 a month, month to month or whatever. So, but if I pay the yearly, my books are not going to say $20 a month. They're going to say $240 in October.